very hype tracks as always. Very hype tracks as always. Uh, welcome. Welcome and welcome. Uh, my cord is not where it's supposed to be. There we go. Uh, welcome. <clears throat> How are you this evening? How are you, duct tape? Welcome and welcome. Make sure my mic is in a good spot. And once again, uh, I think the rocks are pretty loud. And no, at some point we increased their volume. I wonder if that was during the... My main volume was wonky for a short bit there. I have no idea. Oh, you still have not slept. That is so less good. Hopefully when you do get, though, you get like a long crash. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. Um, it's really humid outside. And so when it does that, the AC in our building uh, cranks up a little tiny bit. It makes it kind of cold in like a, a crispy sort of a way and so I stepped outside just for a minute and it's like super muggy out there it's like swampy muggy well, it's, it's pretty fun uh but yeah so otherwise not too bad not too bad not too bad a little tired but not too bad had a good day with the boy he was fun he was good he, was... he we figured out that he really likes doing puzzles so that's that's definitely a bonus he could just do puzzles all day it's just fantastic so that's really cool so that's worked out. That's that's pretty cool. So we're gonna grab into some game. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that you can get your your not too bad soon as well. I'm hoping that that can happen. Ugh. I'm a little I'm a little groggy at the moment, so I'm kind of hoping that I'm getting a big fat try in. Yeah, he's we've got this. Uh, there. Right there. They're uh, little wooden puzzles, and they're like a 12-piece puzzle. There's like it's a three by four, uh, and they're super. They're they're super easy because uh, they're wood, so the pieces aren't flimsy at all and whatnot. So uh, it's a four set, so he can put them together. He spent all day yesterday and all day today working on it, and then I broke out a 24-piece puzzle. I think, yeah, it's like a 24-piece puzzle. It's huge. Uh, so that's uh, that, that's the kind you got your kids? Yeah, yeah. So he was he was going to town on those today, so that was pretty cool. So that was a lot of fun. So we've, we've got a lot of cool things for him to to enjoy, to to involve. Like he'll 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 do the puzzles like three, four times in a row, and then you know it has to be my turn. So he's just kind of like verifying this is how it goes and all that sort of stuff. We're going to stop our tunes, We're launching some Far Cry 4. Uh, because I fired my noise gate and we get all the ambient sounds-ish a little bit now, minus the noise suppression, uh, background music might also be gummy bears. This is going on right there, because gummy bears is awesome. Also, is this making any sound? Hold on. We'll see if this is making any sound. Like, it's the, it's the looks pretty. But I think... It's really weird. The audio in this game is definitely strange. This part used to be deafeningly loud. It has to make any noise at all. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what we get there. He has to make sure we're paying attention during the time. He was putting together the puzzle. Well, yeah, and for, like, the confirmation and all that, right? For the... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this thing hasn't made any sound sense. Like, those... Th those... Oh, there we go. Now we get sound. When the animals crash in together and it's all like powdery and looks really cool, you know, even that was loud. But anyway, we're back. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's really neat at this phase because he's three. At this phase, he needs like he needs to push buttons. He needs to test things. He needs to find out. And the best way is trial and error. Uh, but he'll he'll do stuff a whole bunch of times, and then he'll want me to do it to see if I do it the same way. And so it's really it's really kind of neat. It's really cute because then he'll want to show off that he knows how to do stuff. So that was really cool, really cool. Like, uh, his favorite way after he'd put the puzzles together a bunch of times is to put it together with one piece missing. You know? Oh, dude! Dude, thank you so much for the lurk, Rockstar Gaming Live. You are my toaster. Ma toaster. How's it going, man? How's it going? Literal seconds. Dude, get your sleep, man. Get your sleep. Get your school on, dude. Get your school on. Lyron. 
Yeah, so like, oh, and another thing is that like when I have to take the puzzle apart and then he has to take the puzzle apart, I'd casually throw a piece into his pile and he'd look at it and he'd try to match it. It doesn't match, so then he'd explain why it doesn't match. It's really adorable. So we were having we were having a really fun time with it. It was really cool. Uh, so I think I think those are probably going to occupy him for like at least four more days, maybe three. Weightlifting tomorrow and sore from. Oh yeah, you were mentioning that in Naku's Discord that you've got like a a, a, a bunch of muscle uh, fatigue from already workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, weren't weren't you doing? Like some pretty okay training and stuff, all before the world went went down. Uh, and so now, like, kind of going back into the physical efforts is going to be probably a rough start, but your body will like it. Your body will really enjoy it after a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, not deadlifting 130. No, no, no. But still. But still. I just noticed that the uh, the chat is completely. Uh, destroyed by the um, by the by the the, the in-game quit the desktop and friends and stuff, but pretty light actually. You get the idea. Well, like yeah. So working on the areas, like you said, tomorrow is pretty much going to be a leg day, just so that you can you can get yourself back in action. Uh, and what was the other advice to like just do a small amount of it, even if it's even if it's just a little bit. You don't have to do the whole thing, but just get like a little tiny bit of your routine taken care of gets you back into it let's continue and i think we were doing offline because i don't need to worry about mitigating and allow co-op yeah i don't think i need to worry about that so we'll just kind of continue here going to bed have fun with far cry we will cry so far dude don't worry we will cry so far for you yeah right good times man have a have an awesome sleep enjoy your weight lifting tomorrow uh tell us all about it do the good stuff Guys. Guys. Uh, yeah, I thought they were going to talk. They usually do this when you, when you log back in. They... So we have to do the stealth. The stealth. See here. Ah, good stuff. We have a. Uh, we have hand gliders, uh, and we have to go do a stealthy mission. This should be a lot of fun. We're gonna try for it. We're gonna see what we can do. Uh, over there, there. So when we when we got here yesterday, there's like, I'm gonna estimate ten to twelve, maybe more, dudes, and we have to try to save at least two hostages. I would love to get good at stealth, considering it's a it's a factor of this game. Like it's a it's a it's a component. All right, and let's go fast. Get in there, nice and quick. Can we come over this way. There we go. So yeah, I want to try for a, a ouch a bit of a better run. Try to save as many of the hostages as we can. I'm pretty sure if we take the high road, we get a, a like the recurve bow early. So that's kind of that's kind of lit. Well, maybe not a recurve bow, but like a bow. Uh, and I know here, if you fail the mission, you end up at the top of the hill, and they give you one. So we'll see uh, what we can do. Oh, I'm 406 meters away. I think we're okay. Um, so yeah, for the most part, we didn't really bother much with stealth in the first game. So we got to see if we can make some magic happen in this game. Oh, it says there's a thingy here. Something for me to open. Oh, this. Oh, on top. On top, maybe? Or can I go inside? Can I go... No? No? It says on the mini map that there's a thingy here. Like a box that might have dollar dues in it. Is there no thing with dollar dues in it? Oh well. Is there anything in this one? No, oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll, uh, oh, we'll just imagine that there's a. No box there. We're good. 
Moving onward. Moving onward. Um, I think we can probably run this. I'm hoping that we can get the high ground from this side. Easy. I don't really... I can't remember which side we approached from before. I felt like it was sort of from the front. So if we're coming up the side, we'll hopefully find a nice way across. Doop -a doop doop doop. I was noticing, though, uh, that you play both Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 as somebody who is not even a little bit equipped to hold the weapon that they're holding right now. You do pretty good, but, I mean... Hey! These are the dudes I have to I have to get for to hold more weapony things, right? Uh, if we go into the here... Uh, Malayan tape here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, three of those, and I don't think I have any. One side arm and two weapons of any type. Uh, do we chant? No, yeah, hold on. Can we say? Oh, it's just save and quit. That's no good. Am I really close? Like, too close that if I do this? I'm just curious. It takes a lot of shots. But did they notice me? Because seriously, I wouldn't mind having much, much more diverse weaponry. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. That's one. Let's see if we can find ones further from the compound. Just, you know, for the now. Do this on mission. Hey, go save some people. Do you mind if I hunt animals with a super loud weapon out in the jungle first? Do you think? Do you think? They're probably cool with it. It takes me like 45 minutes to get up there. It's like a four minute hike. All right, those guys aren't gonna be cool with me hunting. We'll maybe worry about this another time. There's, there's, there's doing the optional side quest and then there's doing the optional side quest. And I think this was a little bit treading into the hay now. Uh, if I already had like snipey rifles and stuff. Can you can you skyrim up there, buddy? Oh, there's like a path and everything. There's like a path and everything. Okay, they're talking about pagans, so that's probably these guys are probably good. Where's that the radio broadcast? Any chance I can get the recurve from here? Do you guys have weapons? Can I steal all of your weapons? Oh, sparklers and six thousand dollar reduce. Okay, I was hoping for more than just boxes. Boxes is cool. Silver bracelet and all. I mean, it's no opium ball, but I'll take it. I sort of love that there's a whole bunch of just rando items you pick up, and they're just meant to be sold as trash. Don't mind me, I'm just murdering things very loudly over here, but shh, you can't hear anything. Yeah, I feel like maybe in Far Cry 3, people were a little more, like, overly aware. Like, it was, it was crazy aware. So he looks like he might not be too bad to take out. Don't mind me or anything. No. There is nobody. Done. Can we let go over here and release? Okay. Killed all of the guards before? Wow. Uh, now at this point... We can throw... I love the bait idea. 
Because right now I don't think it's going to kill any of the hostages. Okay, he's going after stuff. All right. Uh, this got harrowing. I probably should have used the camera thing like they suggested. Oh, you go really slow when you're moving a body. That's at least realistic. Don't mind me, I was just sort of also on vacation and not really, but I know how to carry bodies. Seems you know, like at the moment we're doing okay. So far nobody knows what we're doing. We 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 just yeet them. <laughs> we just yo, oh, here you go. We're making a pile. We don't. We're not discerning. We're just making a pile. Now, any chance that actually like did a great deal of work on these guys? Oh, I want to have a stealth weapon right here. Uh oh oh oh. Don't you worry, buddy. It's okay. It's just a rock. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. Logan in the chat. How is it going? How is it going? Welcome, welcome. We're uh, actually learning how to be stealthy. I think. Uh, yeet! I, I love it. Drop body. Or like, you know, fling it. Straight over. How are you tonight? How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the chat. I don't know how many people there are to... to Lure and all. Doop, 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 doop. Doing good, doing good. Doing not too bad. Uh, better if I knew I was doing better stealth. Okay. Do 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 Upsy daisy. And then now that I know that they yeet, how's how's been your day? Did you have fun today? Yeet. Oh yeah, just bounce the guy. Like if this was Skyrim, you could drag him by the by the ankle way off into the corner, and it would be cool. No problems. I think this compound is pretty big. Like. We're, we're maybe only halfway through all the people. Eat. Eat. Okay, there's a hostage. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's the dude that's like... He's like smacking that one around. Is there... Hold on. Who's over this way? Because I might be able to just come straight out the door and grab that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Day's been okay so far. Lots of Noodle and Co. Had a uh, screaming match from your neighbors upstairs. There you go. I can do this. I've been through us. Oh, I was hoping he would notice that a little sooner. Hold on. There we go. Uh... Are safe, Done. Doing your father's name proud, Yeet. This is what he wanted when he created the golden path to help his people. Yes. Look, I didn't come here for my father or any of this. We could still use your help, brother. This is all Look I at the difference you've made. I know. I'm asking a lot from you, but only the golden path will take you to Lakshmana. I promise you that. We'll find it together. Thanks, Sabal. <laughs> Hostage negotiation. Not you, of course, just them screaming at each other. I know that Saval put you up to rescuing the hostages instead of taking back the outpost. It's okay. 
You're new here, and Sabal can be very persuasive. Where are the other hostages? I just wanted to do my part. And I appreciate that, but you have to see the bigger picture. I was already making arrangements to deal with the outpost, but now well, I have to retask my fighters so they can protect the hostages you rescued. Protect them from what? The floor. He doesn't mm -hmm. like losing this his playthings. Thanks. Don't you see, AJ? So things got all kinds of crazy here on the island already. It will be a while before things with the crew will blow over. Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. Not if I can help Jeebus. it. Ajay, attacking that outpost on your own would be suicide. Wait nope. until we can Doing it anyway. Proper support. I can do this, Amita. Ajay, don't... Done. I'm not listening to her. Get the Moscato. Moscato helps everything. Dude. So have you tried screaming back at your neighbors? Reach the outpost. Just reach it. On our way. Yeah, terrible neighbors are not fun. I've I, I've been there. I've had my share of holy crap, what did I do to deserve that? Calling them Popo? Yeah, dude. Really? That was the whole call from Pagan? Hey, just making sure you're listening. Well, that's not creepy or nothing. Um, yeah. Uh, legit terrible neighbor story. We got bear sprayed under the door, uh, and then she attacked our door with a kitchen knife. Now, we found out that, of course, you know how you... If you're on, like, some heavy meds, you try to have people to kind of check on you. And I gather that all of the people that were supposed to check on her were all mad at her. Uh, so you have, like, a, a group of people who, you know, make sure that you're doing good in your life because you're trying to reintegrate with society. And so one day, my wife started to have, like, a tickle in her throat, and then so did I, and then we couldn't really breathe anymore, and it was crazy. And then I went to open up the door, and it was, like, 500 times worse. And then a little tiny bit later, we hear a thunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she put the canister down and spritzed it once under the door. Uh, so we had to, uh, and like, you don't want to open up your windows because then it brings it all in. Right? So like, that was terrible. That was not, that was like probably one of our worst neighbor scenarios, but we've had some pretty terrible ones. So she, she definitely was not, she thought she had a lot of enemies in the world. So she armed herself with things. Uh, so yeah. So I think what it was is because our door faced her door, um, and you could see when you look through a people because the people goes dark. Eventually, you just learn to put a piece of paper over that nonsense. Um, but yeah, so I think at some point she got the idea that we were keeping tabs. And she didn't like that, right? But at least we're nice people. So like, it's not like I went and kicked her door down and did stuff. I just called the police, and then they're like, "Uh, okay, so here's the thing." We know her, and we didn't know that it was this bad. Anyway, so yeah. That's my bad neighbor story. Terrible neighbor story. Lots of fun neighbor story. Uh, but we also had, like, the neighbors that smoked and yelled at each other at 6 a.m. And, like, movie arguments. Like, where you'd swear it's scripted. You know? Like, lots of woman don't you knows. And just, like, a whole... Like, it was... It sounded... Yeah, and so, you know, just yell back and forth at each other. Yeah, yeah. We've lived in some we've lived in some fun places. We've lived in some really fun places. Uh my very first place had a fairly infamous crack dealer, a uh, gentleman by the name of Byron. He was huge, he was a great big dude, but he he got taken away the month before I got, the month before I moved in. So I only ever heard stories of him. And then there was a whole lot of kerfuffle one day, and the police were there, and I had to work in the morning, so I didn't care. I just stayed in my apartment. And then I find out the dude broke in to try to collect stuff that he left in his apartment, now rented by somebody else. So, like, not my place. Not my place. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, so the downtown of my city could be a little bit fun once in a while. Uh, so that was great. I did see him one day, and he was like Mr. T-Big. Like Mr. T big. He was like solid of a of a human being. I'm just like, okay, yeah, cool. I'll just, you know, be nice to you if I see you. So that's lots of fun. We've got some good neighbors in my life. Yeah. So, you know, be nice to the people you share a building with who do not know 
their struggles or what they sell. <laughs> so yeah, that was great. A couple of the uh, like the people that lived in the building had lived there for years, so they they lived with this guy, and they were like, "Oh, you didn't know Byron, dude? No, 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 no." So that was great. Uh, yeah, that was a fun building. There was a apartment five and six across the hall, and I was in apartment three. And uh, at one point, this was before I moved in there as well. Uh, they had left the skylight open, and it rained. Uh, and then they moved out. And so the entire ceiling got so clogged, like so waterlogged that it partially collapsed. So when I saw it, the ceiling was vaulted because they, they, they couldn't do anything about the, the, the drop ceiling uh, part of it. Like there'd normally be, it's kind of like a, an attic, but not. Like it's not even a little bit furnished. It's only about maybe four feet tall. All of that was gone. So the places across had these like 12 foot tall ceilings and and then which connected right to a skylight totally different from the the place like and all because somebody was a jerk to the place and moved out which is crazy i love my neighbor stories got like half of those um are we gonna zip line up i keep are those bad guys are those good guys those are probably good guys right because we're on like, there wouldn't be bad guys right at the bottom of this no I wish I had a sniper rifle. So anyway, I really hope that you have much nicer neighbors than I've ever had. I have had some really cool neighbors. I've had some pretty awesome neighbors in my day. Um, seriously, I can't tell if I'm allowed to take... Because, like, those are good guys, right? Right? Those are the good guys, I think. Chancing it. Yeah, okay. They don't seem to care anyway. There we go. Alright, no big deal. I think they have kids, so I hope it's just all kosher. Or if one moves out or they take the dog. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Well then we had the we had the neighbors upstairs that got uh uh, rock band one year. Uh, so it was it was fairly fairly rambunctious uh, throughout summertime because anytime you'd have the patio door open, you could just hear kids yelling at each other and thundering and whatnot. Uh, so then you close the place up because you have AC for most of the summer and all that. And then all of a sudden, the the thundering upstairs got rhythmic. So I opened up the door one day and I could hear that they had their patio door open and you could tell that it was like a ten year old on the drums on the drum kit. And just going to town on it. Just absolute going to town on it. It was nuts. So that went on for like a year. <laughs> but like the kids didn't stay up past like 10-ish. Saturday nights on occasion, they'd stay up a bit late past, you know. Or And you could tell if the folks went out. Because like there was clearly an older sibling that could take care. But you could tell the moment the parents went out, like it would be like they flipped over the dining room table. And just like thud, right? It would just be nuts. It would just be absolutely hilarious. I was at the weed drums too hard. Yeah, like, so at the same time, I've never complained. We've never gone up there and been like, hey, don't you know? Because, you know, for the most part. But, like, they play rough. And I don't imagine that they're playing rough with the folks around. Because it's it's not it's not frequent. And, like, my parents, my parents weren't social particularly so like we're talking four times a year they'd go out and that'd be it so like when they did holy hell on wheels we'd ruin the place we'd just ruin the place like they the i was the youngest of four so you know the folks would go out well yeah you'd, you'd spend half the time cleaning up so i kind of be like all right clearly the folks went out this is like their one night a year that they go out and the kids wreck the place and then they probably get in a lot of shit they probably get grounded and they probably get all their stuff taken away good times <laughs> so we can hear it right through the floor it's just fantastic mm -hmm. all right let's go to the place that's on fire oh yeah outposts here we go so they get me to take one of these and then these are optional for the rest of the game and i have a i i tend to not do these as much as i do the the radio tower parts of it. The radio tower parts are just nice and simple. And these have a tendency to be like, you have to do things in a certain way. 
And if you don't do it in that certain way, then you spend half a stream trying to do things in a certain way. Alright, cool. Uh, clear it. This one's nice and easy. Oh. I feel like... If I could, it would be awesome to scare that elephant. There we go. I love the bait idea in this game. Leopard comes in, and then they start to shoot at it, and now it brings all kinds of attention. Those things explode? No. Alright, where is he? Where is he shooting from? Is it these guys? Okay. Now we'll come down. The fire is spreading. Of course it is. That's the point. That's why you use Molotovs. And, like, another. And then we use more bait. Oh, where's that good dude shooting from? Way up there? Somebody up that way? Oh, he's right here. Outpost eliberated. Beatbox about animals going wild. Beatbox doesn't have words. No, I don't know if I can do beatbox with words. Hold on a sec. I can never tell if my wife has already gone to bed yet or not. Alright, once we're back in the wild, I can turn on some beats. Your mother would be proud. Thanks, Amita. You want to reach, uh, what is it, Lakshmana? Yeah, Lakshmana. That's the place. Getting there won't be easy. Well, you don't even sound like you know where it is. Ago, it Nobody does. Here in the south. Everybody just says go north. I bring her ashes there. It was her dying wish. Think Dude. about it, Ajay. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Kirat. The son of Mohan Dalai returning to the right. war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Shwani was a smart woman. That's kind of neat. Plotful. You being here and helping our cause is no accident. Right? I'm a superhero. Stand with us, Look at me go. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana or to accomplish something greater. Yep, yeah. Look at that greater. These mountains are did awesome. Did parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Right? Their goal was to free Kirat from pagan I'm like the kid of now superheroes. You have a to help us finish the work they started. Just think about it, Ajay. Think about it. She check me out. Well, Dude. Mom, looks like we're staying. Boom. Act 1 complete. Sweet. Uh, now I get a phone call from someone. Whoa. I'm going to go right off the, the cliff because it's telling me all about co-op. Can we maybe stop running there, buddy? Thanks, yo. That was great. Hey, by the way, co-op is suicidal. That's, uh, that's fantastic. Hey, AJ, you want to get back up there? <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Hollow Knight did the same thing. I was in the middle of a fight, and it's like, hey, do you want to read this song? I'm like, heck yeah! That's the best thing I can think of right now. I'm not dodging fireballs or nothing. That's cool. This is the same sign it was three minutes ago. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, now we're here. Wow, that was fantastic. Uh, Anything, I can't do words, obviously, for a beatbox. We've discussed that, you understand. Uh, anything, any, anything that you're after? Uh, we could do pop tunes. I don't imagine DMCA is going to care too much if I fake a pop tune. 
Do where do I have to go now? I have to go here. Liberate that bell tower. No, no, no. Is there? Oh, well, I don't think I have. Oh, duct tape with the Lord, hiding in the bushes. I picked some new uh, emotes specifically for that. Uh, yeah, okay. I could try some stuff, Logan. Um, let's see. Let's see. I have to try to figure out where we're going first, though. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Because, like, I don't think Banapur Village had anything. Do I, am I going back there? Hostage rescue, we did. No? Wait. Where's that? That's the only thing that's currently lit up, though. Fast travel available. That's a little, okay, so that's just the place that I did. All right. Uh... I don't know, let's roam. Maybe we'll get a phone call from one of the dudes. Um Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try for Benny and the Jets, because i it's been in my head all day. See if I can do this. freak out over birds in this game? It was tigers in the first one. Not the first one. <laughs> but put a penny on her chest. I am not a bird. Yo. They just freely walk around with guns out? I mean, I know I've got my gun out, but I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, that was as far as I'm able to do because it goes way out of range from there, but uh, that has literally been in my head all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eagle! And then they just go nuts for it. Seriously? Although, granted, I've been attacked by a couple of these. It ain't pretty. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and that's also my favorite rendition. <laughs> put, put a penny on her chest. <laughs> we were looking up renditions, and I'd never heard that one before, but it's now the only one I sang. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, and when that's what's in your head, and the only way out is to beatbox it? Seriously? That's amazing. There's just like trash around here. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the for the for the points. Put a penny on the okay, that thing looks big. Oh. Oh, we're backing up. I was scared of the monkeys. I don't think we can handle rhinos. I don't think we can handle rhinos. We backing up. We backing up. Oh, we had tapirs nearby. We had those guys. We should go see if we can find more. Oh. Jeebus. I'm glad you're here. Stop changing. Was here today, maybe gone tomorrow. There, I got the bird. I didn't think I was gonna kill him. I didn't think I was gonna kill him. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to get you. Uh, I'm doing way worse in this game for uh, skills. We're just gonna move on to killing the animals, not the people. Uh, can you get close to these guys? Okay, we're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen. You can actually just straight up accidentally kill civilians. That's crazy. Yeah, this is this is tough. This is definitely not the. Uh, I don't know. Jason Brody didn't have that problem. I'm sure. 
some bait. Because, like, some of the animals in 3, you couldn't really get that close to, so you had to... You had to have some wits about you. You had to have some better weaponry or what have you. Oh, hi. Okay, I didn't know that there was going to be dudes right there. I didn't think there'd be dudes right there. I gotta heal now. Oh, and then you clipped me some beatbox? Oh, thank you so much. Well, you're gonna try. I mean, I know that... I know I kind of started it and whatever, but... I shall also end it. There's tape here bodies and stuff I have to go get, man. Come on. Thank you so much for the clip. That's lit. Uh, more people are coming, right? Whoa. Whoa. And now you're going to forever sing Penny on her chest, aren't you? I actually kind of want to do, if I ever do get into Twitch things, which I can't sing too much at night. I'm, I'm, I'm loud. I'm already loud. Um, but I want to do, there was something I wanted to do years ago called Ruining Karaoke, where you do perfect renditions of songs if you're capable, but you change the lyrics just to see if people interrupt you while you're on stage. Now, you can't do that quite as much in Twitch things, because, you know. All right. Uh, oh, that's fine. Let's see. Go. We haven't gotten a phone call, and I'm still not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing right now. Is it like free mode? Can I just go and kill things? Because somewhere around here is the taper I don't think I managed to skin because I got attacked at. Right? Because there was dudes like right there. So isn't it, wasn't he here? Yeah, I think it's gone already. A Boyd got it, maybe. So it kind of. Yeah. Carcasses end up on map if available. Oh, now that would be really cool. Uh, hmm. I don't know how far I might have been out though. Eagle. No. Okay. Well, we'll go find another one. We'll go find another one. Yeah, little X's. Was there one there? Did I run past an X? Oh, hi, monkey. No, actually, I think you might be right. I think you might be right. When I was, um... When I was uh, on mission, that had happened for sure. You know what? We'll just grab another one now. That one's... Loot bag is almost full. Uh, so let's craft some more... Crafting. Look at that goodness. So there. Now we can carry another weapon. That is amazing. Honey badgers? Oh, you can't kill honey badgers. I've seen the videos. Those things are terrible. I like that they don't believe that they're immune to the stings of honeybees. And they don't believe that they feel any less pain. They believe that honey badgers simply have zero fucks gift. They absolutely will have no problem just consuming an entire beehive while getting stuck. And they just continue to do it. It's nuts. They're like, it, it, that's actually, there we go. We should throw honey badger into Parker's uh, Discord. Honey badger, there's a video where Zoo was trying to keep one contained. And it was just absolutely nuts. The thing was in like a 12 foot deep pit. And it's still, like one day... Uh, it managed to tip over its water bowl and figured out how to create mud. So it, it created balls of mud and stacked them in the corner. And they dried and it created just enough so it could reach up and pull its way out. Like, 
absolutely crazy. They had no idea it could do that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey ba like badgers sitting? Like, they actually just like sit. Just straight up sit. I have not seen that. So throw in the honey badger request with one sitting. And I, I definitely think that's the best request we could do. <laughs> they sit like a Scottish fold. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Okay, hey, we can hold more stuff. We can also take this guy's truck. On-screen craft upgrades. I can hold M. Okay. Nice. Honey badger for the win. Uh, seriously, like, now it's... Uh, Kyra's Refuge, Old Ish's House. Oh, I guess it showed me these places, and some of them were in conflict. Uh, uh, conflict. Yeah, the radio music? Radio music is amazing. I don't know if you heard last stream when I was mentioning that the uh, kids that run the, um, the Circle K down the block, when they took the place over a few years over, uh, a few years ago, uh, people weren't necessarily as up for the music, but of course, no. By now, play it loud and proud. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's get us at least on the road. Uh, so where are we going to try for? Kyra's Refuge, Old Isha's House, uh, Paravakar's Farm. Because we did this one. Uh, are these actually outposts? Oh, and then it even shows loot when you get right in there. Oh, that's kind of alright. So yeah, it was a couple of times that I'd go in and uh, the one guy at night, he'd, he'd turn it, the radio down. And so one day I was like, hey, what are you listening to? He was like, uh, nothing. Like, dude, turn that up, turn that up. And it was like, so it was this music, right? Like, sort of like this kind of a, but with like EDM thrown over top of it. Like it actually had some like solid beats going on for it too. It was definitely interesting. Uh, no. Um, so yeah, like propaganda poster, remove or destroy this. Oh, whoa, that's kind of cool. That's almost Grand Theft Auto-like. Like, that's a tag, and I have to go tag over it. Oh, let's go do that. And we'll go find out what's going on at this farm. Uh, and then... Auto-drive. And we can get out my, my, my clip. Yeah, that's not bad. Done. This game's kind of interesting for... Like, the auto-drive system is nuts. I'm going to drive over a monkey. <laughs> you know, this game is crazy for things. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> the interior of the cars, too. Like, look at that. The seat. The seat's all rotted out. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, will it not auto-drive over that? Or am I close enough? Oh, okay. I'm just close enough. Ooh, did I get here just in time? Is that bad, guys? No, okay. I'm here to take your poster. Oh, feral dogs? Down, puppy. Wow, they did a really good job of clearing this place out. Uh, damn, dogs. Can we start arming our civvies? Come on. That was harsh. Yeah, the auto drive's all right. Uh, Mike was saying that uh, this is one of his favorite Far Cry's, or his absolute favorite, but that driving was never one of his favorite aspects of the game series anyway. So to be honest, auto drive's pretty cool for that. Like I don't I don't mind driving because like the the scenery is gorgeous. I thought the driving was actually quite well done. Driving can be abysmal in games that it's just an aspect. Um so I kind of thought this was this was pretty sweet. Uh oh, and propaganda poster. Oh, it's this one. Oh yeah. No golden path, pagan men are savior. Get wrecked. 
One of 150. But at least they're on the mini map. Or the major map, actually. But see, again, are we just celebrating or are we actually shooting stuff? Karma. Complete karma events or spin many wheels to get karma. Okay, okay. Increase your karma levels for guns. Uh, oh, the guns for higher upgrades. Ooh. And reduce trading costs. Uh, Homestead's good. Homestead's actually pretty solid. Uh, we're, we're going through some brain day milestones where my boy's power struggling over kind of just weird things. Uh, I was lamenting that probably eight months ago we had scheduled fights. Like, it'd be right around 10 a.m. that suddenly he'd just find something abysmal to freak out about. And it took me about a week of it to be like, oh, you just need to get mad about something. So he's just getting mad. Well, that's kind of, <laughs> they're not as scheduled anymore. And so, like, we'd literally go, yesterday, we went until, like, 7 p.m. And then all of a sudden, nothing could be done right. So, you know, it's just little little weird moments like that. And you kind of have to take in stride that, yeah, he's just three. That's what they do when they're three. Um, so thankfully, everybody's doing, you know, for the most part, fairly well. Uh, we much prefer more sleep at night. He gets up way too early. Tonight, he didn't go to bed until late. So, you know, you kind of are hoping for, yeah, classic three-year-olds, we're hoping for more. But, you know, figure it takes time. That bell tower's been liberated, but I didn't get the propaganda off of it. How do I... That's kind of cool, though. I, I want to be able to collect all of the things. Can we trade them? Um, yeah, so, you know, I think I think health-wise we're doing pretty good. Yeah, oh, they say it flies by, but it doesn't, it's not real. It's not flying yet, no. It's not, it's not, it, there's absolutely no, t it's not terrible by any stretch, though. Oh, yeah, hold on. This is like one of those karma moments, isn't it? I'm gonna shoot you right in the bum. Headshot after eight, nine body shots. Cool. Was that it? What are you doing? Okay, we'll untie you. Okay, but like, get the hell out of their way, right? Jeebus, that was nuts. Kill the hostage. Yeah, right, right? <laughs> I think I've done that a few times. I accidentally killed the, like, wandering dude. Oh, you are now unlurked, Dark Tate. Walk up, walk. Yeah, I killed one of these dudes. By, like, trying to get the bird. <laughs> F's in the Wandering Sherpa. Yeah, there we go. So maybe sometimes when I think these guys are just celebrate shooting, they're not really celebrating it, right? They're literally shooting at birds. Because birds are the scariest thing in this world. And Parker says hi. I also say hi to Parker. How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Tell him I use his yuck emote, but ironically... He's also lurking. I love it. Group lurks. Group lurks for the win. Alright, let's go. I think... Whoa, hi there. This thing is wickedly ag agile. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a truck. That's a truck and a half. Oh, boy. Out my way, Tapir. I'm driving. Can we just, like, keep going with this? Probably not. Are they aggressive? So you're just gonna like take out my thing? You're gonna grab up my my ride and just destroy it? Eagles, look out for the talons! Look out for the talons! Where where? <laughs> you kind of just want to yell eagle and see if everybody freaks out. Propaganda. Three more for next reward. Yes. Can it grab up my things to ride? 
She's got a thing to... No, it's got to be two syllables or it's not as funny. Um... Oh, this thing's agile as well. <laughs> See, how do you not like the driving in this game, right? That was... That was nuts. Hey, is there puppies to kill? Those things were terrible. They wiped out half a village. Wow. Where are we going, anyway? Um, There's one of those things here at the bell tower. But, like, ultimately... Uh, hostage rescue? Should I be going for these sorts of things? I'm uncertain. Collect this journal entry and learn more about Mohan. Gale, your father... I mean, we might as well go for this propaganda. Oh, that's that's the legend, I suppose. Oh, I didn't know that's. I didn't know. It. I did not know that's what that button got me. Okay, this is almost scary to ride. Can we go like around? Oh, hi, hi. I don't feel like I can go up that. Let's see. We can, can we get it stuck on some trees? Yes. No? Yes. <laughs> Around? Around. I'm practically swimming with this thing. Oh, can we go up the zip lines? I probably have to do a grapple. I probably have to do a grapple. Practically ghost rode, rode the thing. Oh, repair. Uh, no. No. I couldn't tell if those dudes were wearing red or not. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Seriously, the tigers were the scariest thing. I can't believe eagles are what get you in this game. But they do. Oh, and then there's all my ammo that I've used on that animal. Cool beans. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Oh. You guys have ammo. Give me your ammo. I failed my king. I failed my king. That's amazing. Opium ball. We're going to win today, too. Cool, so I can switch back to this thing. Beautiful. Oh, and I can already cook grenades. That's fantastic. Use all my ammo on that thing again. Uh, okay, so I guess we should probably just head back to the main town place or something. Uh, which is here. We'll head back to there. And so is there a hang glidey type thing for me? There usually is. Ego! Whoa! Honey badger? Honey badger. Are they aggro? I can't tell. I don't picture honey badgers being an aggro animal. I picture them being a defending animal. You know? I shoot at them, he's going to come at me. But otherwise, I could probably run reasonably close. Uh, meanwhile, like, leopards are going to stalk you and stuff. It's kind of a justifier. And then things like deer and goat going to run from you. 
Regardless, can't get close. Not gonna. Yeah, okay. 200 meters, we can run it. How far did we run in walking, Sim? Up we go. <clears throat> so if we could have a minor serious conversation, let's have a moment of silence and chat for my brother who believes that all of this is a hoax. I want to talk about that for a half moment because I don't imagine he's going to find my stream anytime soon. Uh, but he 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 linked me the the propaganda thing the uh, in doctrine yeah the COVID uh, the one that they 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 put out a video in May and like 20 million people saw it before they finally took it down and then they put out a new one sort of recently I can't remember what it's called but indoctrination was this like subtext title kind of a thing so he sort of like sent me that over Facebook like a week ago and I don't know I was just like yeah yeah whatever dude but then today he was like so did you see it I was like see what the video I sent I'm like oh dude I don't have time for that <laughs> I do not have time for that so then I just sent him some of the fact check videos that I've found like the verge did a whole thing about the one in May and they did another one about the one in August um but my brother's always had like a little bit of like a wonder what's going on behind the curtain kind of a thing. So this would be his wheelhouse. This would definitely be something that... And he also does not have uh, people that he lives with and he's very social. So I fully understand that you get a lot of time with the internet when, when you have to stay home. But... I don't know. There's some dude on, on Twitter that went through and, and debunked moment by moment the entire video so you know moment of silence yeah so we're kind of hoping that he's at least car careful in his looking for answers so you have an uncle that isn't like anti-mask or thinking it's real but he's got some weird thoughts so gotcha gotcha so that's a little bit sad face. But you kind of got to just sort of, oh, what is this? You kind of just have to, you know, go with whatever flow you can go with. He lives far, so I can't, I can't do too much other than be like, yo, dude, yeah. I... And well, and thankfully in my case, I don't have to listen too much because all he did was say, alrighty. And then he hasn't responded to my, my propaganda. My propaganda. Uh, still searching for whoever was, was, is responsible for the recent spate of murders. In the meantime, all Golden Path members are instructed to remove or destroy any masks of the demon Yalung found around the murder sites. Or a bad omen should not be left in place. Well, done. Thanks, Saval. We'll take care. Uh, da, da, da. Where can I go to sell? I need more dollar reduce. Just a few more dollar reduce. I felt like I had to go down and around, but... How do I get into your building where I would be able to give you all of my stuff and you would give me money for it? Is it here? Open. Are you a store? Oh. Uh, nope. This is probably a... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. This is a store. Trade. Ooh. I get all the new weapon upgrades. And like healing syringes and stuff. I should probably carry stuff like this on me. I don't. I don't bother. <laughs> well, that's why we're on easy mode. It's mostly why we're on easy mode. Uh, this one. Equip this slot. Yes. But I, I want to customize it. Is that this one? Yeah. Oh, I have to find the attachments for it somewhere out in the world. We have lots of dollar reduce though. Should we make it gold? There. We've got a gold gun now. When we shoot people, we can be like, haha. I am the man with the golden gun. Or something like that. And uh it, it it's it's elite and stuff. 
Lurkin. Oh, I love that. Lurkin for work. Oh, I love it. Very much love it. I think it's just ammo then. Uh, oh no, I can carry another weapon. Yes, I can. Two-handed sniper rifle. Is there a one-handed sniper rifle? Okay. Uh, I like this one because you'll eventually get attachments for it. Boy. Yeah. Boy just. Uh, and then we will place it over here. Accurate and reliable. Oh, and fire on semi-auto. Yeah, this can actually be used, I think, up close as a decent weapon. Uh, handgun, we're good. Oh, no, we don't need to worry about that. That's really cool. It tells me I don't have anything they can shoot that, essentially. A sniper rifle is good. What, what do I have, then? I've got... Got an assault rifle on me. I kind of thought that was the case. I don't have any weapon or any ammo for the weapon I carry. That's how you know. Be back soon. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're stocked at least. Oh, and we need to get rid of the things. Yeah, I've got 29k worth of stuff. There we go. And I got some weird skins too, which is nice. We got a bear skin early on, for example. I kind of wish you could carry, like, keep those somewhere if there's a place. Communal safe house. Remember that safe houses are shared communal spaces for all Golden Path members. Support that leave these safe house clean, tidy state for next soldiers. This is cute that they put that in there. Above all else, if you take anything from the training post, you must leave money to cover the items. Longinus helps keep us with supplies, but we still need. Oh man, I like Longinus. He's so far my favorite. Um, my my, my favorite supporting character in the game. Um. Well, alright. Deplur's Fortress. I think this was or weaken the fortress by completing more campaign missions towards large amounts of XP. So I remember them mentioning Deplur. I don't know if that was actually to be a next thing because uh, they didn't mention Yuma so I can just see these um, so maybe they were like hey if you want a challenge go do the thing yeah Bagador they didn't mention that as well ah oh, there's just a golden path mission just straight there I thought that was part of all of this stuff I didn't realize okay cool cool I didn't realize that's the save icon so that kind of makes sense Whoops. Uh, we'll hopefully pay attention to more of what they're saying. But this one's a little more wordy, I think, than the, the than Far Cry 3 was. I'm liking that. You get a lot more story. Okay. Uh, I think I can fast travel. I got me my uh, my weapons. We might as well just get right on in here. Is you okay? Hi. And there's already shooting. Just boatloads of shooting. Oh, hi. We just already have that weapon out. Oh, man. This thing looks cray. Uh, there's no zoom on this. I thought there was. I gotta do the whole breath. Ooh. I'm not good with this weapon yet. Alright. Oh, boy. there. <laughs> I don't need my sniper rifle. I just need my AK. That was amazing. Hmm. Pay no attention to everything and be lost in the entire game. That's how I like to play. That's pretty good. It's a nice way. 
There's like a blissful ignorance to just like, hmm, should I go to this flag or that flag? And then you discover that none of the flags were really where you're supposed to be going. But hey, grenade times one and some dollar redos. We're doing great. We are doing great. That was a lot of kerfuffle to have happen. It didn't seem to mean a whole lot. Um, all right, back to my, back to my flag. Oh, does he have stuff on him? He has stuff on him. Dollar reduce, crack pipe, three D slide reel. Squirrel around the map until the game is finished. <laughs> Just like, how many of these things can I make go away? Like, go pick up all, all, all of the vehicles and park them somewhere. Right? Do all the things. I love the little diamonds on the map. I like that you can tell where there are boxes of goods. I think that's a really good system. <clears throat> yeah, that was the Skyrim method, right? Like, you just open up the... Uh, did you play Skyrim? Uh, you open up the map and you just literally look for markers and you're like, Hey, let's go empty this thing. I, I want to beat the crap out of Draugr's. I bet you if I just go to a place that is a, is a cave, I will find Draugr's. No big deal. Fulfill my, my, my need. Yeah, this is a perfect game for just, like, follow the, follow the map. <clears throat> Alright, good times. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of doing that right now, because what the heck did I find? I've seen the H on the map before. Uh, did we miss it? Dude, no! We did not just miss the action! Who is this guy? Man, I'm the Herc? Man. I was gonna roll him here like goddamn Clint Eastwood. I like Herc. Herc. I heard about you, man. Taking names and writing checks out to kick it ass, man. That's why I'm here. Because you and me together, Golden Path won't know what hit them right in their faces. We are the Golden Path, man. I do not understand oh, I like what this guy. you are saying. I don't speak your language. I think what you meant to say is that uh, the Royal Army won't know what hit him. There we go. See, we're, we're the Golden Path. Dude, seriously? <clears throat> wow, this guy's awesome. A lot of stand guy over the things I've said. Stand guy. So that makes sense. Okay. New plan then. Preemptive cavalry. Oh. That's right. You need help. You call. We swoop in and help you. Me or my uh, uh, golden, path. golden path buddies. That's right. Golden path. You and me, man. New and crew. <laughs> tap bros. That's Herc's right. amazing. Dream. Come on. Punch Herc's it. amazing. We actually, we actually <laughs> bump his fist. That's all right. You kind of came in on the slow bus too, but you got there, so I got respect. He was even gonna do potato around, fries. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's roll, golden path, homie. Golden Path, homie. Oh yeah. Well, that was Herc. Chiba's playing co-op. Oh, so people play as Herc. Ah, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. People play as Herc. Guns for hire token. Even if we're just dancers in the dark. Uh, get tokens, complete karma events. That's fantastic. So I, I, I suppose the game's supposed to be hard, yeah? Oh, holy crap. Let's just get in. Whoa. This is kind of okay. That's not super scary or anything. How do you... Yeah, that's how you shoot. How do you turn? Like, I know how to... Alright. Oh, boy. This thing's kind of awesome. And then you just go straight down. Wow, what a weird item. I want one of these things in real life. Oh, I can't look at that thing. 
Feels like it's hitting me in the face. Wow, I want one of those things in real life. That was that was uh, uh, like fairly precise considering. Um, any chance there's a propaganda flyer here? There is, isn't there? There's something in here. Is there a thing in here? Can I get in the thing here? That's. Oh, that's an actual light. I wonder what was just so shiny here. In here? This guns for fire. Uh, I thought I'd never see you again. Backing up. Just uh, backing up. One more for next reward. Oh, and actually, there is a trade thing, right? That's that's what this is. Okay. I don't think I have stuff. Oh, I do have stuff to sell. I don't think I have stuff to sell. I do have stuff to sell. Uh, but we want to maybe go. Ensure we have all the ammos. Okay. That was a lot of uh, sniper rifle shots, for example, I, I, I pitched just to discover that the AK was way better. <clears throat> ah, that's the like. That's what the alarm things look like in here. Okay. Well. Uh, let's go do the mesh. No, you're a grumpet. I would not want to walk in there right now. Um, what are they arguing about? Pagan men soldiers are about to attack one of our camps. Amida thinks our priority should be the information the fighters have gathered. Sabal thinks saving our people is more important. Hmm, how long have they been at it? Long enough. The argument never changes and their positions never move. I kind of like the political angles. I don't want to bother you, but you're Ajay Gali, right? <laughs> Thank you for helping us. I'm doing Everyone good stuff here. here appreciates it. I'm doing good stuff. I owe Golden Path for rescuing me, but honestly, I'm just. I'm just here to scatter my mother's ashes. I love it. Perhaps. I'm just here but to save my friends. now you see what Pagan has done to this country. You are the son of Mohan Gale. Like it or not. It's all about destiny, right? right? And your <clears throat> choices will carry weight. Yes. We need someone to break yes. the stalemate between Amita and Sabal. Let's go save our people and get our information back. And pretty much Batman anyway, right? This is about lives. We don't act people who die. This is about war. We need that right? intel. We're talking about soldiers we can use. Remember what you said about DARPAN? And if I had a choice between DARPAN and the intelligence, I choose the intel. Ooh, she is cold. She is cold. What do you think, so well? What are we doing? Dude. Dude. Dude, you're just gonna leave too? Do I have to do all the things? Man. Choice. Oh, balance of power missions are critical to Golden Path, but Amida and Sabal have different goals. This is great. Speak with both leaders, choose who to support. Oh, will lead to a completely different mission. That's kind of cool. I bet you if I go with go get the intel, it's not stealth. Uh, this will also create new objectives and upcoming missions dictate the leader of the Golden Path. Until the next balance of power mission. Wow. Choice. Choice. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but I really think, I think she's kind of being cold. I want to go with Sabal. He's, he's got, he's got a little more heart. I think I think I like the idea of saving our people, if we can. I'm still walking around pointing guns at people though. Let's hear what you got, buddy. How can I help, dude? One of our camps is about to get overrun. Don't know when, but it could get messy. I need to send them all the support I can. Cool. So if you want to, help, this doesn't sound stealth. 
Get over there, brother. Do your thing. Alright. Rebel yell. Balance of power missions. Saval wants to protect the rebels at the nearby Golden Path camp. Accepting this mission will decline to meet his mission. Are you sure want want to accept? I kind of like Sabal. Sabal seems to have the like. We got to do what we can to save the people. She's you know she she's got the she's got the political end of it. We got to get the we got to get the intel. That makes sense. That makes sense. But maybe if we have the people, we can overrun. I say we go get the people. A doom. Right. Thanks, dude. I'll make you some kind of proud. I also, I think we're probably going to meet Darpan again. We didn't really see him die. Uh, and I think possibly going with a save people objective might be what helps. Might be what gets you there. Oh, we have to go like a kilometer away. Where's that helicopter? I want to see how far we can fly that thing. Did I just leave it in town? I did too! Dude. Alright. Done. Bye! Wait, who's yelling help me? Is it from that thing? Hmm. Okay, well. I can't tell. Uh, what's, what's the wrong? So, I'ma just go? Where, where, where am I going? Uh, I feel like it's this way. Oh! Is it gonna run out of power in a minute? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm probably gonna die. Karma event? Oh, hey, there was like stuff going on. I don't care, I'm in a helicopter. This thing's amazing. We, we, this is like the first time you get into a, a, a hang glider, you're like, I'm probably gonna die, but let's do, let's do! Right? This is awesome. I kind of hope we can take out birds while we do this. I'm in a flying Cuisinart. Can't we do something about this? And I guess that was my altimeter saying, Yo, buddy. You did not read your manual. <laughs> this thing's kind of awesome. Uh, and super scary. The exposed wiring and stuff. Golden Path Camp, offer to help the rebels. Alright, let's, uh, uh... Where can we pitch down? Let's go down, like, here? Done. We're just gonna park my ride right there. That thing is amazing. Uh, I think we're gonna shoot for driving that thing as often as we can. Yes. That's what we'll do. Hello! Here to man this awesome looking thing. Ajay, so glad to see you. We're ready for the bastards. So grab mines or get behind the turret. Let's hurt them. Hunters are silent, lethal units that communicate with whistles. They can see you through vegetation. Ooh! Hunters remain tagged for a few seconds before the tag disappears. You can charm predators to attack instead of soldiers. Kill them to remove the charm kill the animal to remove the charm. I'm pretty sure that's axiomatic there. If they can charm dead things, just saying. Uh, oh, that's just a pistol I shot. And then... Remember, they can come from any direction. 
Bring it, I'm ready. Don't be too ready, yo. Couple of mines out that way. Oh yeah, these guys are awesome. They're like ninjas coming in, right? And this thing's infinite. Oh jeez, uh, control to put out fire. I just died. I'm holding control? That's not the word. That's not control. Okay. I was hoping I'd see them on my mini map more. The west? This way? Oh, this thing is not the best for me to, to be at. Uh, and also maybe not that weapon. Oh boy. Yeah, there I go. See you soon, duct tape. Jeebs. Yeah, I know, I know, they're terrible, we got that. How do I... I gotta have more than just these weapons. Uh... Yeah, my AK is what I really want. I have... No, okay, no worries. I don't have any, uh... Yeah, jeez. Remember, they can come from any direction. These guys are super tough. Okay, guys, out of my way, yo. They started coming at me from this way pretty soon. Okay. Well, but which is it? Is it the east or is it the west? Oh. Eagle? Great. Hey, you can heal while uh, while shooting. That's okay. Oh, that's my ally. Hey, there's friendly fire and like an alright amount of it in this game. All right, let's uh, let's go free. some point this was a good uh, a good item but now my AK is not hooking me up the camp is safe the camps on a lot of fire dude yeah oh yeah that leopard's my fault oh okay the fire leopard is my fault Leopard coming this way. Not 
Because if so, not a scratch on me. Everything else is burning alive, but you know. And that leopard was my fault. Come here, you. Come on over, puppy. No, it's okay. We got the wolf. Are there more? Are there more? Ooh. Alright. Jeez. This got to be a bit much. Just want to make sure this wolf isn't coming back. Come on. This is a gun. Spin around where the wolf's coming from. Can we aggro him? My heart is, burning. is he coming? Okay, he looks like he's going much further away. Oh! Uh, I'm getting shot at? Are you also getting shot at? Jeez. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, okay. Next uh, place. Do I have... Tiny booze. Do I have... A helicopter. Hold on. I think that thing was always going to bug me because I was... Uh, I had him tracked and you could see when he was coming back to the camp. Okay. That tracks that gun. Where did I leave? We came down one of these kind of guys. I'm hoping that we can find... Uh, my... Helicopter. Uh, wild animals. Moving away from the wild animals. Seriously, I parked it and I don't know where. It was like just outside of this little place. Oh, it probably got exploded on. Maybe they don't last? Oh, it was fun. That thing was great to play lay around. Okay, I hear hissy things. Like, really mad at me things. Let's get out the camera. Will it show me if there's anybody aggro? I was thinking snake, yeah. Uh, but I don't see it. Like, oh, oh. Really? It doesn't show me that, though? Chibas. Uh... Huh. Safe side? Jeez. Wow, that's graphic. <laughs> that's very graphic. Uh, yeah. They're definitely the, the good at hiding. Awesome. Yes. More yes. Gee. 
more, yes. Did I actually get it? Oh, okay. Jeez. I remember snakes sometimes being very tough to see in, uh, in Far Cry 3. Was he already in there? That was definitely weird. He might have already been in there. I'm not too sure. Uh, okay, so this way for 178 meters. Let's do. And hope we don't come across. I know there was a couple of times that I, I just had to let the snake bite me because I had no idea where it was. I already missed my helicopter, guys. It was cool. Oh, dude. That's not a happy scene. I think they have bow and arrow goodness. They can see me through stuff. Okay. This will at least draw them out a little bit. Okay, good. Oh, Sage, welcome. How is it going? How is it going? Gotta get a little bit more out in the open. Uh, crouch. Hey, good stuff. Oh, it goes well. It goes well, man. We're uh, sort of doing stealth. As usual, we've completely abandoned stealth. Somewhere around here. There's an additional dude. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Uh, one of the missions I had to do for the most part, Stealth. The ball. It's done. But whatever Amita was looking for isn't here. Oh, jeez. That's a bear. That was actual lightning outside. Outside my door. Uh, is Big Bear a coming for me? Is Big Bear coming for me? <laughs> oh, and there's a karma event up ahead. Yeah, I don't want Big Bear coming for me. Go around all the stuff, I suppose. <laughs> all right. I was really trying to save the dude. Oh, jeez. Well, like the Kool-Aid man. Did my hostage guy make it away? This guy certainly didn't. 
can't save them all. Apparently not. Seriously though, like where did... Where, what? Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where the guy went. Also, that's another snake. Jesus. I wouldn't mind getting ammo for, uh, I have a better weapon. This guy. Yeah, I wouldn't mind picking up some ammos off of these guys. Playing cards, whatever. I was kind of hoping that out here. But these guys all had, uh, yeah. These guys all had bow and arrows and stuff. I think that's bears being mad. I think that's bears being mad. Gas can right outside a bunch of fire. You know, whatever. It's not inherently safe, but what else? Hi! <laughs> I, th I think... I think I killed the bear. I wasn't sure if I was gonna win against the bear, but as usual, welcome to Firecry. <laughs> uh, well done. Well done. How long do you think it takes bags of vegetation and other whatnot to burn? Oh, and there's there's still bad guys here. Yeah, I can see them on my mini map. There's no sign of where the killer went. Don't you worry, I'm here. Oh, I was hoping I could grapple up to there. Okay. Can we get around? I wouldn't mind. Like, they seem curious of my whereabouts. Yeah, you seem to be unsure. It's all good, buddy. You found me. Seriously, man? Did I look like I was not? Anyway. Gonna be knocking down my door any minute. Because, yeah, like, this guy was probably my buddy or something. Can I loot him? Yeah, I'm gonna feel really bad taking his dollar dues now. Jeebus, man. Jeebus. Anyway. Glad we helped that dude solve the mystery. Ammo? Ammo? Not ammo. Not ammo. We're okay. Uh, next on our... Ooh. Hold on. Bear. Right? Now that the fire's out, I have a bear pelt. Oh, and it says damaged skin. I wonder if it's worth less. I'm probably going to get attacked by an eagle. Nope, I'm going to get burned by a fire. So let's pull some glass out of my arm. Wrap me in gauze. And make sure I still can't pick anything up because my loot bag's almost full. Oh, that's a charging rhino. I don't know how far you have to go when you have a rhino charging you. Probably not there. Wow. I'm running from rhinos now, guys. First it was fire. Damaged skins are worthless. Ah! You'll kill nobody. Dude. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened. That was alright. So that's pretty much dollar reduce or whoa, we're not even.
Wow. How uh how hard are these guys to kill? Because I probably need those skins eventually, but oh boy. Just show realized your stream is now showing an intermission screen and my voice. <laughs> That's amazing. So people are getting uh they're they're getting my audio with your your BRB. Not worthless, but worth less. Alright, no worries. Uh Battle skins. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really have the on my way up to most things. Yeah. Worth a Canadian penny. We're just running away from the current rhino. I always keep some jerky in my pocket just in case I get hungry. I always keep some jerky in my pocket just in case I get hungry. I love the banter NPCs have in games in general. Uh, oh. Golden Path Camp. So, legit, we really do want to go take this bell tower. In Canada, the worst expression is a penny for your thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Effing worthless, and no Fs given on that one now. I know, I think I still have a jar of them somewhere. It does feel a little bit weird that we are a penniless uh, country. Oh, it's far, guys. Let's do it. Hey, and there's loot boxes. Are they in a thing below? They probably are. Like a cavern. Like this cavern. My brother is in the golden fire. Done. Ah, uh, did we win? Do you have loot? <laughs> that was a nice way to uh, to say how's it going, guys. Uh, from my perspective, of course, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rate how that went for them. Ooh, Nox. Uh, a single box I can open with a soldering iron and full stuff. My wallet is almost full. Can we just load up on explosives? I gotta finish making the, uh... Ooh, I don't yell on stream too often. I gotta finish making the, 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 the wallet so I can carry more dollar ADs. But there, and we got the two... There's a little wine. I got the two, um... Boxes from within, that's pretty okay. Oh, no signal from auto drive. All right. There we go. Now we travel. <laughs> I like that I can make him go faster while he auto drives. That's actually a pretty cool feature. Nice. I love it. Is this a pagan? Yeah, this is this is a this is propaganda we're trying to get rid of. I'm accelerating the crap up this hill. I hope the auto auto drive can take it. Not bad. Yeah, auto drive is interesting. Yeah, it doesn't do two shabs. I'm expecting we're going to careen off the mountain at some point. But we'll enjoy it until then. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Is, is it going to happen here? No. 
Oh, not bad. Still just gonna travel oosh, all the way to there. Done and done. Now where is he going? That thing was a bit over the top. I don't know what it takes to kill these guys. But I got this guy. Yeah, they're terrible. How do you... How do you... I wouldn't mind being able to, to, to take those guys out nicely. <laughs> I'm being attacked by a danger squirrel. Danger squirrel. Danger squirrel. Oh. Can I still heal? I have a stick in my arm right now. Oof. Apparently you can just continue to heal forever. That's amazing. Maybe that's an easy mode thing. Well, anyway. Can't search. My loot bag is full. Uh, inventory? Inventory? Can I just toss some of the things that I own? Collection? Wait, collection? Loot bag. Yeah, 30 of 30. Um, because some of these things are going to be worth very little. Like this damaged skin, I might as well discard. Because it's worth very little. Tiny booze, also worth very little. Takes up a whole bag spot for that, right? Uh. Is that a bad guy car right here coming up? Oh, there we go. Any? Have to check on. Oh, snake again. Is he going to be inside? I really don't see the snakes. I know they're here. Oh, uh, they found me. Maybe not. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to have to take those guys out or not. Maybe? Oh, that's the that's the ride that I'm to take out. Damn. I was really hoping that was going to do more than just nothing. Well, so where the heck fires that snake? Like you'd think he's right. Oh, he is right in front of me. See another snake? Ah. <laughs> I think there's another one still here. Okay. I think I have my sniper rifle still on me. Oh, there's another snake out here. 
I can hear it. But I don't see it. It's just going to reach out and it's going to... Oh, is he going to get in trouble? I guess we're in. Take something out of my arm first. Hold on. Anything in here that I can use? Ammo for assault rifles. Maybe I can climb the tower? Can I get to like an outside part where I've got the advantage? Yeah, we'll find out. Still full. There we go. There's a guy at the base of the tower. Oh, there's a bunch of them at the base of the tower. <laughs> that was all right. Oh, hold on. Into the building we go. Where is he? Heal. Heal. Over there. This way. Okay. Thought there was still somebody over here. I don't think anybody else survived this. I guess now while I have unlimited ammo, can you shoot the birds out of the sky? Nice. It took all of my ammo. Not all of my ammo, but it took what would have been a lot of my ammo. Good guys? Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't want to give this thing up until I know... <laughs> that it's safe. <gasps> For example. Right? That's the royal something or other? Yeah, okay. Is it a mission to do anything with this? Oh, deliver to where it is on the outpost? Okay, is that... Whoa. We won't be able to do that until we've taken the tower, though, I think. Okay, no worries. <clears throat> Yeah, that was actually pretty cool, because, like, 
<laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna go take a tower though. Hold on. You chill, because this announcement's really annoying. And twice we got to take out birds, that's okay. There is still so much conflict. <laughs> These towers are great. They were such an awesome part of Far Cry 3, so I'm super glad that we've got them in 4. A light bulb. You're doing this at night. This thing sounds rickety as I climb it. Oh, yes. Love that it rings. Uh, let's hijack it. Boosh. That's fantastic, too. 17 bell towers. Doom, digga, digga, doom. That place doesn't look as terrible. There we go. That place looks like it could use our help. Mm -mm. What's up with the surrounded in bugs thing? Really not sure how to take that. Ooh, but Gopal assistance. Of course. Okay. I am coming. Oh, right below me. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that guy did not do well. Ooh. But this guy's my... my marker? Oh. Okay. That ended our karma event. All right. That was definitely weird. We're hitting the tree. That's kind of the best thing. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of thought it was weird that my fog hadn't left it. Okay. Hydrack this and deliver it to a liberated outpost. I think this is my closest liberated outpost. Oh boy, howdy. Mm hmm. All right, let's give that a try. Oh. Yeah. I might have to defend against wild animals. Alright. Any ammos and stuff. Ah. Okay. No big.
Okay, they take a lot of ammo. Like a lot of ammo. Thank you very, very much for the follow, John Baker. Welcome into the stream. Welcome in, welcome in. And welcome for the Unlurk, Logan. Hey. Uh, can I skin you? Okay. I think I need these guys. <clears throat> yeah, that was grody. Uh, yeah. Welcome in, welcome, welcome, John. Uh, we're doing some Far Cry 4. We're trying to be stealthy. <laughs> uh, no. We're actually trying not to get attacked by birds. If we can help it. Hey, I'm getting faster at that too. Do I have nonsense on me? Should I be tossing a bunch of nonsense? Collection, loot bag. Because, like, that looks like it's worth something. That looks like it's worth something. I. Uh, we don't want to get rid of skins that are worth stuff, right? Although I haven't had to use a pig skin yet. Uh, this, I know it's useful, but I've not, you know. And, like, the opium ball is actually worth, worth less than chewing gum. Can we just talk about how crazy that is? Um, you can barely see it, but the opium ball is 2,000, right? What? Throw away a couple of the for sell only items that aren't really worth. Because, like, seriously, I'm skinning a bird. Yeah! Whatever. Let's just pause this game for a moment there. Look at this fire. Morgrim Crow. Kaka. Welcome, welcome raiders, welcome everybody. Tell me, what was your game tonight? What were you playing? Was it awesome? Was it the best thing? Oh, dude. Rocket League. Indeed. Were you burning all your fuel out there alone? Everyone, I am Edge of the Freak. I am playing story mode Far Cry 4. Uh, we are having a lot of fun trying to be stealthy, and we are not being stealthy. Sadly must go. Hope you have an excellent stream. The raid and fade is appreciated. Enjoy, and I hope your stream was awesome. I really hope it was the best. You've had a lot of fun with the Rocket League. I've ducked in, lurked a few times over on your goodness. Welcome, everyone. I will take best care of you if I can. I have a full bag, and we're trying to get rid of stuff. That's kind of the thing. What, games without, like, inventory management? Are you kidding me? Also, we have a helicopter thingy. So it's kind of awesome. Alex Dragonblade with the caca. Phoenix, yes. Enjoy, enjoy. Look at all you people. Look at all you people. Come on in, come on in. It might get loud. There's like honey badgers. There's like honey badgers. There's one right there. Ask me anything. Is that? Come here, you. Come here, you. The danger squirrel. <clears throat> Wait, where did he go though? Did is he? Can I, oh, there we go. I'm now skinning a bush. We're fine. What would you like to ask? Would you like to ask how the helicopter rides? Cause it's amazing. Uh, well, bird. Okay. So in Far Cry 3, you were worried about tigers. In Far Cry 4, it's eagles, and it's just the weirdest thing. Not really sure. Hell yeah! Okay, let's do some helicopter ride. Uh, where do we need to go? Oh, no, 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 we're not doing heli- Okay, I'll, I'll pick up for helicopter just for fun. You! Get. Because, like, I'm floored by this and kind of want to build one. <laughs> That's not the scariest thing, right? And then you one-hand it while you try to shoot birds. I wonder if you could get to the tops of these towers by flying to them. I'm not really sure. Right? And then you try to take out birds. Uh, but what we need to do is take this thing to the nearest outpost, which I will say is Fahar. 
and this thing looks like a beast. So, like, what do you think? Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, it'll auto drive me there? That's a helicopter, bro. Do you really want to auto drive through the helicopter? That was amazing. The auto drive feature? Kind of funny in this game. Okay, here we go. It's now, it's, it's auto driving, which I think is hilarious that they have in a system. We have to go a kilometer now in this gigantic thing. I can accelerate. Oh, jeebus. I can accelerate, but apparently it just stopped auto driving. Okay. That was funny. I don't know that we're going to use auto drive. <laughs> what? Auto drive, what are you doing? It's got to be like the third civilian we've killed today completely by accident. I don't think you could ki kill civilians in Far Cry 3 quite as much. Spent four hours looking for diamonds in Minecraft, only to find one kind of disappointed, happy to find one. Hey, sometimes that's how it goes. That's, uh, that's Minecraft for you for sure. Uh, you liking it though? You having fun with the Minecraft? Uh, I played a bit of that. That was a lot of fun. I had, I had a lot of, oh jeebus, that's a, that's a rhino. We gotta go. Uh, I have a clip of where I found, uh, emeralds. And then shortly after finding emeralds, I find a creeper that blows up said emerald. It was fantastic. Okay, we're still auto-driving. We're just kind of trying to make sure we don't kill civilians while we auto-drive. Yeah, it was hilarious. Like, I find I find the emerald, and I dig all the way around it to make sure that I've got just the emerald, and I find a pit. And there's a zombie in the pit, so I kill the zombie, and then I drop down in the pit, and there's a creeper down there with him. So on my way scrambling out, he goes off and takes out the emerald. It was fantastic. And actually, the hubris is that I mentioned that, oh, I'm not normally this lucky. And then I find a creeper. It's the best. Like, Minecraft is, is awesome for hubris. It's awesome for going, Oh, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Followed by the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And it's just awesome. Uh, We're just going to cruise through this town? Or is this where we're going? Okay, cool. I was a little concerned when we're just pulling this beast into a town. Cool. That got a little Grand Theft Auto, you know, where I have to deliver the cargo thing. Oh, propaganda. Get wrecked, buddy. Creeper exploded next to your house. Oh, and the hole was deep enough that you found eight iron. That's amazing. So, yeah, that's that's when you find out that adversity can lead to opportunity. Three grenades, whole bunch of stuff, ammo for handguns, I got a mine. We are doing a-okay. Oh, yeah, 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 and then there's something about skills. What, do I have nine skill points? Should we start spending those? Forceful strength? Oh, heck yeah. Uh, healing syringes will do four slots of health, that's great. Partially drained health, ba uh, health bars will heal faster. I'm pretty much trying to go with, like, we're already playing on easy, but I'm trying to just enjoy uh, the story without getting too much in the, ooh, I don't have any ammo to do this mission kind of moments. Um, that happens in a couple of games where, you know, you're, you're, you're having to be finicky about how you do set missions, and I'd rather, you know, do the mission. It takes throwing a couple of grenades, what have you. Um, so, like, repair tools, I'm not too concerned about that. Plants, I didn't even harvest any in the last. Uh, reduce damage from fire, though. We should probably take that. Uh, oh, craft a syringe to reduce physical damage and being knocked down. And Okay, cool. Maybe, maybe we'll work on something like that. Uh, aim and fire any sidearm. Press head on, uh, 7 to reload while moving. Switching weapons and aiming is now much faster. Oh, that's kind of cool. I actually don't mind that one. Reload while sprinting is half happened to me. Let's take let's take a couple of good combat ones. Find out. Oh, can now be reloaded while aiming. Uh, 
That's not too bad, but I need not enough skill points. Okay. So I guess we spent we spent my nine. That was fast. Alright. Uh, and I think I have stuff on me. Too much stuff. So we should probably... Where's the... Where's the store? I've not played Papers, Please. I've seen people, people play Papers, Please. Um, I feel like I actually saw Parker play that. Uh, I can't remember, uh, but I know Naku played it. Um, I feel like my wife played it. I know she has it, but I feel like she played it as well. That's one I could do. Just opened it last night. You're already a fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you played, what, is it Coffee Talk? Um, very, very similar style, at least. Um, yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, that's one I might throw down for, um, for Rando Night. That's <laughs> so much. So many dollar reduced. Mm -mm. Yeah, Coffee Talk, you're, you basically run a coffee shop. And people come on in and you make, um, you make their orders. <laughs> it's a pretty chill game, but you can... You can piss off your customers and it changes the narrative, I think. That's sweet. Mm. Do I have... I still don't have any attachments for things yet. <clears throat> oh, that's okay. Wouldn't... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy here, I have a scope. Oh, okay. I just noticed that as I mouse over, I might be able to see if I can equip uh, attachments and stuff. Oh, like this guy. I can do a scope uh, and an extended uh, magazine. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I have no idea if it's by the same people, uh, Logan, if uh, Coffee Talk is at all. But um, just sort of a, a, a story mode game where you have to pay attention to the details while the story is going on. And I kind of thought... Um, it's got a similar perspective to it. Okay, so still nothing that can be silenced. I don't get to be I don't get to be quiet yet. Ooh. Some of these look kinda cray. So yeah, even my sidearms, none of these guys can be. But it's kind of interesting that I can uh I can throw a scope on this guy. I don't think we need to worry about handguns with scopes just yet though. Um, we've got all of our ammo. Oh, and then we gotta we gotta sell all of our crap. There we go. Sell, quick sell. Yes, good, done. Wait. Oh, I can't sell loot. My wallet is full. Um, that's a little unfortunate. Do I have to just? Here, we'll we'll buy a bunch of healing syringes. <laughs> um. We'll, we'll we'll buy this and then customize it. Cool. I uh, can just go back and I can just buy a night sight for it, uh, and then we'll paint it. <laughs> we gotta we gotta spend our dollar dues on something. It's kind of annoying now that they give me a discount on things. Uh, rag weapons. What else can we get? Uh, this guy, sure. The, uh, this was actually one of the weapons I really enjoyed in the in the previous in Far Cry Three. Max attachments is supported. Okay, so I think what I went for is the STG, uh, and I went for a bigger clip size last time. But maybe what we'll do is we'll get the red dot sight for right now, uh, and then we will paint it. What's a good color? Is there a red? Yeah, we'll go primal. It's like an orangey red. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Now can I sell stuff? <laughs> there we go. I have to be able to pick things up, man. Because I want to be able to make things. I need honey badger skins for something. I think. Ooh, another weapon holster. Cool. I'll be able to carry my, like, recurve bow or my 
I don't know. Some of the some of the some of the bigger weapons, and that'll be nice. And to be fair, honey badgers were nearby. Yes, indeed. Oh, scratch that. They were nearby before I had to drive this truck all the way here. Uh, do we take? Is there a helicopter? Can we go back? I legit don't remember what we were doing, but I think we're gonna take this tower, uh, and then we can probably end stream. Do we have? Any chance there's a helicopter? I didn't mean to slide. That looked really that looked really uh, over the top. No. I was kind of hoping just like around in this area that I'd be able to go. Yep, that's a helicopter, and we just jump in it. No. Am I not that level lucky? They were just kind of here any other time. There's a cart. There's lots of gunshots. Yeah, there's a karma event going on up there. Uh, I can't tell if it's for eagles or actual bad guys. Alright, let's join them. I, like, just get here. You guys good? You guys good? That's it? All you guys were doing that for one dude? Yeah, now, and now we're celebrating. And, and now we're celebrating. You know those bullets are coming back down to someone, right? It might not be you. I'm pretty sure I got shot by one of those people at one point. I was just walking out of a house. We weren't even in combat, and I got shot. By, like, something. Alright, well, no helicopter. No nice, fast way back to where I needed to go. Do you think I can take the truck anyway? Peeps, I don't know. Oh, never you mind. We are that lucky. Done and done. Alright, let's take off. I love that these helicopters exist. This is really cool. It's like this thing would probably weigh about what? Nine pounds total just to carry it? Like it should fold up into a backpack. Super scary looking. Now let's see, is there any bad guys here? Oh, there are. Alright. We have to liberate this tower, which means... This weapon's not nearly as accurate as my AK was. My AK, I could do some really good stuff. Alright, let's get some bait out there. Nice! Where am I? I'm getting shot from over there. Okay. I do not have any accuracy with this guy. Yeah, thank you. There. Jeez. Hmm, been lurking house stream, Parker. It's going not too shabbly. I had to summon wild animals to help with this. My STG is just crap, I don't know why. 
It is super pretty, Parker. It is super pretty. Now, hold on a second. If anything is possible, then it's possible for it to be impossible. But yes, it's undeniable that it's impossible to be possible. So therefore, the possibility for it to be possible is possible because everything is a possibility for it to be possible without it being the undeniable fact that it's impossible for it to be impossibility. Therefore, the possibility for it to be... Okay, hold on. There's somebody coming. Is there somebody coming? No, okay. Uh, the possible for it to be impossible uh, uh, made Morgrim Crow read this. Wow, seriously? That's amazing. I did my best, but I got a couple of possibles in the wrong the wrong spot. I hope you can forgive me. That's a huge... Wait, I'm skinning something. Is that a dude? Okay. Okay, there's another karma event, but I want... I want... Oh, hold on. Oh! Okay, I think we got all your dudes. Why are you doing this? Uh, no, I'm nice. Get wrecked. Where's the other dude? Who cares? Where's the other dude? <laughs> Just tell me where the other dude is. Is he okay? Nobody's worried about why you deserve this right now. It's an emergency. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Bezos, Bezos bits. Bezos bits. <laughs> Bezos bits indeed. Oh, Parker. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes. Oh. D Whoa, dude. Hey. I, I know I got a giant cough gun in my hands, but you recognize me as the dude that saved you just a minute ago? Okay, I'll just leave you alone. You're clearly going through some PTSD. Which, understandable. How do I get up this thing? Tower! How do I climb you? Good stuff. Parker, how is it going? I, I like how you read it more. Red which more? More? All the more? How do I? Uh, boosh! There we go. Plastic elephant. Hey, that goes with our plastic tiger. We are gonna have the entire set. Plastic animals. Can can you go up the? Get out of here! We need to climb the the ladder. Come on! I'm being thwarted by a box. I just action heroed it over that. Oh, my robo lady voice. I like how he read it more. I get it, yes. Well, me and Scarlet get along. <laughs> Great man. Been grinding the crap out of Guild Wars too. Yes, the MMO grind. Ooh, that looks like an elder bird. What do you think? He's all gray and stuff. Yeah, the MMO grind, that's awesome. Uh, been thinking about the, uh, the Amazon one. Uh, what's it called? New World? That they're going after the, uh, uh, they're going after the MMO grind. I think that's kind of alright. Get. Those are fun looking boxes. Box port, more like box port. Indeed. Oh no, peeps, I'm turning into a pumpkin. I'm turning into a pumpkin. Oh, that's a zip line up to nowhere. Good stuff. I thought it was something I was supposed to grab onto and do for the next part, but no, we don't want to zip line down to my doom just yet. If we can help it. New World is tough, man. Can't tell you where I land on it, to be oh, totally honest. And I'm, I'm looking forward to yours, Trex's opinion. You guys have a much bigger ear to the ground than I do. Hold on, I have to hijack this with the butt of my knife. I love the hijack in this. It's great. Doom, 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 doom. 
and then I get all purple sight. And then we see where places of there's more civil unrest. Sad room? Satish's sad room? That's fantastic. Tiger Den. That is where you put live grenades. Um done. New activities, see? Well that. Now there's always a red crate, but then there's always like a decorated crate, right? Ain't there? No? Is it on the level below? Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. Pagan's an ass hat. If we if we can help that. Be happy to give as much insight as you want. Looks more like a survival than a classic MMO. Okay, okay. Seems like something that could be its own genre. Whoa, alright, alright. So, like, they're trying to not let it turn into rust? Okay. Well, that's a nice radio tower taken care of. Let's get a zip line in. guys are okay, right? Okay. I accidentally killed one of these dudes, so I like to just triple check that these are nice people. Uh? Oh, they might not like me because I'm walking around in a, in, in a weapon and all. That's great. That's great. We'll maybe try not to scare the bejesus out of folks. Save. There's my save symbol. Don't turn my PC off. Um, yeah, if you like Rust, Lord of the Rings Online, had a baby. Okay, then the entire combat formula is left click, right click, left click. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I, it's pay for play, right? Like, I mean, you have to buy it and then it's free or you there's a subscription. But I think, I don't recall, but I think maybe it's expensive. Like, it's some kind of expensive. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to do a save and quit, everybody. <clears throat> Yeah, this game is this game is kind of awesome. Uh, hold on a sec. Quitting to desktop. There we go. Let's get some music back in here. Oh, sub base. So to not totally sure. Like Guild Wars because no sub fee. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'll, I'll look into. Like, I'm kind of feeling it too. I like the idea of an MMO. Uh, but any of the older MMOs, I'm unsure of. Um, so that sort of thing. Uh, the VODs will probably be hilarious. Uh, as usual, I do my best to try to go in, you know, with things like stealth, or can we drive, or what does this weapon do? <laughs> we just bumble through it. As Duct Tape and I were talking about early on, uh, you pretty much just do all the objectives on the map. You don't really plan out the plot. You just kind of like, hey, there's a dot. Let's go to it and find out if we get shot at or if we have to help somebody. Right? It's the Skyrim method. You open up your map and you just... Will this be Draugr's? And then that's about the best. That's about how it goes. Guys, this was an awesome night. We're going to do this again for tomorrow. We're going to get more Far Cry 4 uh, in. So this will be this will be great. Uh, oh, and Parker, plenty of fire moments tonight as well. Stuff I didn't even think there'd be fire. Plenty of fire. Always fire. Um, yeah, good times. Uh, oh, uh, obligatorily, let's throw out some... Join our Discord. Our Discord is getting lit, people. We're having a lot of fun there. We've got a lot of good members. Uh, we've got a lot of good channels. Oh. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. I'm going to do a watch out party soon. Uh, I think there's three movies currently that I'm going to throw a poll uh, up for. Uh, and then we got to figure out if it's like Thursday or Friday of next week that we're going to watch it. Something, something weird. Probably Bubba Hotep. Uh, what else? To get our raid on. Um, next week we're going to do Hollow Knight. I've got a controller now. <clears throat> and we're going to do more Far Cry 4, but then we're going to add in Enviro Bear. Uh, that's going to be our first rando game. We're going to start doing rando games because rando games are fun. Uh, what else? What else have we got coming? Uh, after Far Cry 4 is going to be Bioshock Infinite, after Bioshock Infinite is Far Cry 5, and then after that we're going to do Titanfall 2. 
Um, another game we might do on a rando night, but I'm not sure. Uh, we might do it after Hollow Knight's do done. We're gonna do uh, Dying Light Story Mode. Uh, the Story Mode for Dying Light will be really cool. Because uh, it's it's got a pretty rich looking story, but then once the game turns co-op and multiplayer, it's huge. The game gets really fun. I think it's kind of like, it's sort of like what they did with Far Cry. That, uh, like with Far Cry 4, they basically said that I can play it multiplayer and some of the missions are easier that way. It's the same thing with, with Dying Light. Um, but you can still do it. You can still do it solo. Whereas Titanfall 2, we're going to play that one just like any other story game. Uh, front to back. And just, like, as they say, the, the campaign mode is uh, a really, really good story. So I think that's going to be awesome. What the heck is Motus? If anybody's checking out the the uh, the CC tonight, do I have a button for CC? Yeah, there we go. The closed captioning has just been absolutely hilarious lately. <clears throat> so who do we have? Uh, Binary Sage, dude, are you listening right now? <laughs> He's on X4 Foundations. Uh, Ruse, of course, on Call of Duty. Pretty darn good. Titanfall is sick. One of the best experiences I've had in a single player of, uh, like, so Parker, I've heard the same, that people have suggested that Titanfall is considered to be the best, and I'm just like, what the heck? I've never even heard of it. Uh, it was just, I think it showed up in my Steam, hey, you should try this. And then I read the reviews, and it's nothing but, like, people giving it 11 out of 10. So it's just nuts. It's just crazy. Um, yeah, is Sage in chat? Is he currently... He was saying earlier that he could actually... He was listening to my chat while he was on a on a break. That's too funny. Uh, we might go jump in, give him some hype. Uh, see what he's up to. There he is! So, dude, are you up for a raid? What are you playing? I can't tell because right now it's an ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sage is playing X4 right now. Foundations. Are you actually playing it? Sage, speak for yourself, dude. Come on. Defend your actions. Yes. Dude, let's jump in. These these raid icons, if you've got a if you if you've got a sub or if you've got the points to buy it, uh, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna say hi. The X Games, there we go. You're trying to remember the controls, dude. Yeah, that's me pairing my pro controller to Hollow Knight. Yeah, right now he's on key binding screens, right? That was me just uh, earlier today, I think. Yeah, look at those raids. Those, I'm just gonna say it now. All right. Gorgeous icon. They are an emoji and a half. Arabuddy. Arabuddy. And then Parker with the exclusive Haya. That's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, yeah. Guys, this has been lit. This has been a really fun night. Uh, duct tape, thank you for your emotes and your chat as well this evening. Uh, thank you to all of this goodness. Look at that. We've got new follows. We've got Raid from Morgum Grow. Uh, we got Parker with your bit slap. Yeah. Dude, this was hype. This was good stuff. We always have fun. We always have a great time. You guys is lit. You guys is awesome. So Sage, coming at you hot. We're going to do some X4. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ape. Thank you. I appreciate your hype on my on my YouTube channel as well. Everybody, the YouTube channel is hilarious. Yeah, Parker and his bit slap. I, I, I love it. I love it. Make my robot boy say say naughty things. Yeah, we'll do this again. We're uh, back in tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern. I'm your favorite late night streamer. Not maybe your favorite, but I'm one of the ones that's out there. I do good stuff. You guys are awesome, man. Great community. Let's go jump in and say hi to Sage. Bring in some hype. It'll be awesome. Thanks again, guys.